Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Khan TDK, Mr. So Real, and today I have a Destiny video for you. And I hope to incorporate some more Destiny videos into the channel because I enjoy playing the game. I, I like the PvP, uh, I like the variety of weapons, I like the variety of PvE content. So this video is going to be the first in a series that I'm calling Good Game Guardians. In this gameplay, I'm going to be using the Striker Titan and I am going to be using the No Land Beyond with the sidearm uh, combo. Now, primarily, I like to snipe in my games. So the No Land Beyond, I have put in a lot of time. If you've been following me on Twitter, you may have seen me put out a post that I would learn to master the No Land Beyond. I am still working on it. Uh, I do have a pretty decent grasp on how to use it. But this video series of GG um, or GGG is going to be mostly focused on learning to get rid of bad habits and how to improve as a player. Uh, I am not, I repeat, I am not the best of the best when it comes to the Crucible. I am not some super, you know, crucible machine, uh, but I do want to get better at it. And that's what these videos are for. They're going to help me analyze my mistakes and hopefully help show you some stuff so that you don't make the same mistakes. All right. So here we are. I got the no land beyond. This is the iron sight primary sniper rifle. I love having a nice supply of uh, ammo. Right here, I'm just kind of looking through this crack because this is where people who go from B try to look at you. And I don't want to commit too hard in a random game. Whenever I'm playing with randoms, I'm very cautious. The other thing to know about my playstyle is that I am quite defensive, uh, evasive. I like to flank and I'm quite a cautious player. I don't like to do unnecessary risks unless I'm just going all the way out, balls to the wall. Uh, now I know there's a guy over there kind of keeping my eye out waiting for him seeing if I can get that snipe and I botched it <laughs> Just now I got about three dudes. I got a nice little snipe Checking that corner to see if they go for B Throw the nade Not long enough. They're not taking B and it's just me and this guy and that guy's not really pushing up So I'm not gonna push up with no land I'm just gonna try and cover until we have enough bodies over there. Nobody came, so let's kind of roll around. All right. So here in this situation, that was a pretty easy shot getting up on that, that canopy to kind of look down. You always want to keep your enemies guessing so that they don't know exactly where you're gonna come from. And you don't want to just walk into something. It's a guy right here. I should have checked my radar. Lucky for me, got the punch. Somebody else, I think, maybe got a shot off on him so I could get out of there. And I tend to get out. If I'm in danger, I like to run or get away. I don't stick around for any of that and try to be some superhero unless I have to. Nice little easy snipe. Should have shot that guy. Really should have shot that guy. I don't know why I didn't. I think it was because of the, uh, the hump in the canopy. Got that one. I don't know how that didn't kill him, but he basically two shot me with the devil you know. That's pretty amazing. Okay. So now we got a bunch of dudes and there's only, there should only be one guy over here. So yeah, if you got the numbers, make sure to always kind of push, push on players so that you can, you know, get those easy kills. And these guys are now kind of grouping up here. We've got A and we've got C. So this ain't too bad. Get some special, even though I don't really need it, need it. Nobody on B. All right. Might be able to push. There's a guy here. Let's see if we can jump up and snipe. Got a body shot. <laughs> Wish it was a headshot. That would have been awesome. All right, so now we can push into B. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm, quite a, I'm kind of a defensive player, and I like to flank. So I don't really like to take too many unnecessary risks especially in casual games like this, because if you just run in and die, you're giving the other team points. So you always want to kind of keep that in mind. Don't be that guy that just runs and gets bodied. All right, so they're capping C and I got super. I'm gonna try to use my super here. It's a guy. 
Got a double. This guy is here. I'm weak. What do you do? Throw a nade and back out. Now look at my radar. There's somebody coming in behind. I'm going the other way. Swing around. There's dude. Nice shoulder. And we've got B. Pick up some orbs. Let's cap it. These are the kinds of uh, habits that you want to kind of remember to do uh, when you play Crucible. Yes, it's good to capture points. Yes, it's good to kill people. But don't do silly things and don't do stupid things to get yourself killed and get taken out of the action. Now, there's somebody on this radar straight ahead. Super. Unfortunately, the No Land Beyond does not snipe kill unless you have the master perk uh, but you know teammates saved me got me out and I ran and they used special to take him out so it was good play there's a golden gun let's take him out so the team has less problems to worry about got the heavy pull it this dude's coming blade dance we get him always keep a good eye on your mini map that mini map pays dividends some dudes there. It's a rocket. Let me get out of there. Health is low. Time to go. So far, I'm not doing too bad in this game. Um, I didn't do horrible in this game. I wasn't the best, but I didn't do bad. So now we've got all our dudes over here. We're protecting A, and we can easily get to C. We've got a guy over there roaming around. So they can have B at this point. Uh, we got a pretty sizable lead. We've got good defense. We're holding this down. There's a guy missed. Oh, some asshole up top. Let's take him out. See your name. Red dot. Pink. All right, we got him. There's another one. And another one. Nice little trip. Nice little trip. And, oh, I couldn't get four. Would have been nice. So that guy's hurt. Let's see what's going on in there. There he is. And I don't know how that missed. And I pushed forward and tried to get back into cover. And I couldn't do it. And I got killed. They shut me down. But that's okay. That's all right. So we've still got a strong presence between A and C, which I think for this map is really good for control. If you can hold A and C, B is just too far out um, and there's too many obstacles between it. So Your strategy, is working. strategy is working. So this is this is pretty good. Axiom Bolt chasing, just run away. Don't stick around and try to be brave. All right, for some reason, guys, my audio got corrupted and I got sniped. Uh, so there won't be any more game audio uh, from here on out. It's not too much more in this game. Uh, but really and truly, this series, I want to focus on getting good habits and learning how to play a good game, uh, put yourself in good positions and get the get the kills. So as you can see, that guy was hard scoping down that lane and I just kind of rotated a little bit out of his uh, sights and then got an easy pick off of him. This guy missed his snipe. I got one in on him. There was really no point in trying to, you know, get that perfection for the, the headshot. It would have been nice, but I could have just gone for the body and it would have been fine. And that was what I did. This minimalizing risk is, you know, most important. Uh, here I got outplayed. I didn't even see that guy. Uh, I should have been checking my mini map to make sure of where he was there taking a, I've got my super. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go in. This guy jumps right over my head, distracts my plan. I don't know why he didn't even try to attack me, shoot him in the back, get that easy kill. Uh, let's push in a, nobody seems to be taking a, we got some people coming in this guy. The only thing I could have done there uh, with time allowing would have been to do my super and that still would have been sketchy. He probably could have shot me out of it while I was in the animation. I didn't even bother. I'm going to take B since they are working on C just to draw them back over 
and my teammates are pushing C. It's a guy over here. If he comes forward, he gets it in the face. It's another guy coming. Grenade. Try to push back, see if I can get him to jump up or come around cover. He jumps up, take him down. There's another one coming. Uh, won that duel as well. Should be able to get B. Somebody else coming. I go for the grenade. I think I, I think I killed myself or he must have uh, got me with the shoddy if I took some damage off of that grenade. So that was a, a miss on my part. And yeah, you got to be careful about shotgunners that close in. They're taking B, but we got A and C. The game is almost done. From here on out, you know, I kind of just say I'm going to play my game and just have some fun. And, yeah, there's three people here on this radar. Let's jump in here. There's that shotgunner guy. My teammate. Oh, he missed his Nova bomb. Good for us. Now, look here. We've got about two or three on this map right around the corner. YOLO. Smashy smash. Get the double. Pick up an orb. I'm a little bit hurt, so I'm going to pull into some cover. There's two or three more over here. Uh, we got a blade. I try to go for the shoulder charge and we win the game. So sorry about the audio cutting out uh, on this first episode, you guys. I plan on doing more stuff like this where I kind of break down my plays and break down some decent games. And I will be uh, breaking down some bad games so that you guys can see what mistakes I make and so that I can see myself what kind of mistakes I made. And hopefully uh, 20 kills, 3.33 KD plus a I as Luna. I can't complain. So if you like this kind of content, please remember to snipe that uh, like button. And until the next video, I am out.